Henry Reid. He has the period 1914 to 1986. So this is almost like the early part of 20th century and still the third three fourth part of the 20th century. If we see the year of his birth, it seems to be 1914, which is means the period of World War First. 1986, we can rightly say that the great shift of 20th century began. So Henry Reid lived in such a period onto which the world faced First World War as well as. the second world war which was from the period 1939 to 1945 so this person lived in both world wars and had a deep impact of world war first as well as being actually one of the war warriors we can say in second world war okay so now let's see henry reid and his short bio Born in 1914, Henry Reid was a prolific poet and writer, known mainly for his work *Naming of Parts*, written during World War II, when he served for a time at the Cypress School at Bletchley Park. Reid was born and raised in Birmingham, initially attending King Edward VI School. before attending the university and graduating with an MA he would in later life moan the fact that he never attended the more prestigious universities such as Cambridge and Oxford it was whilst at Birmingham University that Reid first met the North Sea right Lewis Mackenzie who greatly encouraged him to read and become more intellectually involved with the world indeed through most of his life reed was a voracious reader and also had a natural ability with languages that saw him quickly learning french german and japanese when he left university he tried his hand at writing and produced a number of pieces that achieved moderate success but did not provide him with enough to live on and for a while he worked as a teacher and a part-time journalist Whilst the experience of reading such literary greats as Tennyson and Joseph Conrad influenced his own writing, the sudden outbreak of war also had a major effect. In 1941, Reed was drafted into Royal Orange Army Corps, but his proficiency with languages soon marked him out of out for a transfer to the Foreign Office. where he worked translating communications for naval intelligence his period of training prompted him to write his famous lessons of war collection including naming of parts a witty take on life in the barracks where equipment was in scarce supply at the beginning of the war whilst reed spent much of his time translating japanese communications something which would turn him off learning and losing the language for the rest of his life he also found himself in london and made connections with bbc british war broadcasting after the war he began to work full time for the corporation and his most famous output was undoubtedly the hilda tablet saga a series of comedy plays about a composer of an all female opera reed also performed in a number of plays as he had a generous amount of acting ability as well as a gift for impressions that served him well during his time at bbc although he was a prolific writer reed was mostly known for his single poem naming of parts which has found its way into many anthologies and was often broadcast over the years he was also repeatedly confused with poet and anarchist herbert reed who was much more well known for his breadth of work so please remember 
Henry Reed is different, Herbert Reed is different. No confusion. Okay? It wasn't until 1991 that Reed's own work was brought together into collected poems edited by John Stalwardy, a volume that highlighted the variety of words he produced over his lifetime. In later life, Reed took on book reviews and worked on a series of translations, but would find no more great success with his poetry. He died at the age of 72 in 1996 and many of his papers are held at the University of Birmingham where he first studied. So this is all about Henry Reed, one of the prolific poets who is known as a personality who is of having interest of varied kinds and is on stage writing poems also functioned as a warrior, as a translator, and as a person who was rightly influenced as working as BBC. So, let's know more about Henry Reed's poem, Many of Parts, in our next session. Thank you.